What's up, guys? It's part of the joys of doing this in a music classroom. Uh, so that sounded great. Um, and congrats on the EP and all the good stuff that's Thank going you. your way. Um, I guess my first question is, like, when you were little, did you do a lot of cannonballs? Just, and, and did you perfect the cannonball? Not to take anything away from the song you just played, I'm just curious. I was really chubby, so probably, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't doing any dives. I was always scared to do them, because I was scared I was going to like hit my tailbone in the bottom of the pool. What? Well, because we had like an in-ground pool in my parents' house. And okay. So you're like, if you did a cannonball, you would have definitely just like gotten paralyzed. So like, it wasn't an option. <laughs> This is going to be fans of yours, like, I can't believe we fucking asked him about a cannibal in the <laughs> swimming pool instead of the meaning of the song. What a dick. Anyway, so... That's pretty much the meaning. I, I like that. Yeah, this is important. But talk to me about, I mean, you know, it seems like a recent trend, not a recent trend, because EPs have been out forever, but you guys have two EPs out, right? Mm -hmm. Total, and you just drop one. So is it a conscious decision not to do a full length, or is this just how it turned out? I feel like, you know, it's a lot especially when you're like a new band to ask of someone to listen to your full length record cuz it's like people don't really Twelve songs yeah, yeah like i don't i'd rather put out you know we'd rather have more consistent output and have you know maybe six songs every 6 months and have 12 songs in 2 mm -hmm. years cuz it's like a who wants to wait that long b who wants to even listen to that quality right. over quantity yeah like yeah. i mean yeah. if we can write a great full length then that's cool but i don't know I feel like people just do it to do it. Because it's the norm, yeah. Like, why why pad, throw a couple of, like, maybe, you know, B-plus songs on an album? Right. Because just so you have a full-length album. I mean, right. Yeah. A great full-length usually has, like, six awesome songs. Right. So why not just make it the six awesome songs? Right. Yeah. You know? Instead of the conventional... It's true, like, yeah. Team ...because people want that hour of music or something. But that is true. And then you yeah, usually so skip around anyway, yeah. right? So. Don't listen to the Especially full nowadays. Yeah. Yeah. Don't tell that to Tony Bennett. I don't know what that means. <laughs> but, uh, so you guys are, uh, you're going out on a fall tour. Uh, fall tour. Yeah, let's just skip the summer and spring. Yeah. You guys are going on a spring tour. Full fall tour. Full fall yeah. tour. Catch them in 2015. <laughs> <laughs> um, talk to me a little bit about going on the road, and you guys are all from different areas, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh... Yeah, Chicago. we... Chicago, Baltimore. We come together when we obviously go on the road. I just moved to New York. Kind of. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So now we're even more spread out. New yeah. York, Chicago, Baltimore. So we, we basically so. travel in a minivan. This time we rented one because we were using mine. And it's, uh, it's about 160,000 miles now. Dying. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we don't really know what we're going to do. Um, but for right now we're just renting minivans. Mm -hmm. Um, it will drive a couple cars on the next one. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but I mean, when you did the EP, you were all together, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not like, you know, you cut your Very brief, yeah. Yeah, yeah. vocals and then no, sent it no, over no. to somebody. People and... ask that, but no, yeah. we got together. We don't really practice. Weeks. Yeah. So it's like, you know, we just kind of make mistakes for a lot and then <laughs> get better as time goes on. Right. Yeah. And where'd you, guys, where'd you guys meet? Not to pull a When Harry Met Sally moment, but how did you guys meet? School. We met in, yeah? Yeah, in school and then I met the other guys just, I just know, I don't know. Music? Yeah, we're in various bands and just, yeah. I don't even know. Baltimore area yeah. though. Yeah. We, all, we all met in the Baltimore Okay. Um, you guys are, I mean, at least for me, seem that you're getting like a lot of buzz lately. I mean, are you conscious of that? Um, Exciting no? stuff is happening. I don't yeah, I mean, it's pretty, yeah. yeah. It's hard to tell, it's, you know, what's, because people tell you, like, your parents, call you and they're excited right. and then, like your friends <laughs> but then you don't know like if people are actually listening to you or not right you know it's going bubble. out there yeah but we're here with you so well yeah, yeah so it can't be that good right yeah. things can't be going that well <laughs> <laughs> um talk to me about the name orange because orange is among my favorite colors and i feel like it's very underrated so i'm just you know um uh, i just feel like it, it's bright vibrant full of energy just cool like color. you guys. It's a tagline. Here's what's going yeah. on with Orange. We uh, <laughs> we were demoing stuff for our new record, and one of the songs, like one of the garage band like sketches, was called Orange. And then we we're like, shit, like what are we gonna call a record? Right. Let's call it Orange. All the titles of the garage band That's files it. are always whack. They're always insane. Yeah. But that one just just, uh, just survived, and then just became the record. And then obviously, like the idea like evolved more. Mm -hmm. But I mean, at first it was just like the way that 
that song Orange like felt at the time. It's just like, oh, this feels like Orange. Like, and then I guess that was it. it started there. Now we're here. It's still Orange. Still Orange. Still orange. And you guys. Um, you did a cover of Frank Ocean, which was kind of connected to Orange. That was conscious decision too. Yeah, or? yeah, totally. Okay. I just thought it was relatable, and it was an I excuse. love Frank. Yeah, it was an excuse. Because, yeah, it was an excuse. I love him. So you're not going to like start covering other Orange things, are? Are there other Orange things? Like there are. Uh, you're going to cover like an Orangina commercial or something? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else is Orange. orange you know, I don't know what. What is there? I don't know. David Bowie had orange hair for a while. The problem yeah. with orange is that it's like it doesn't look good anywhere else except for like photos or whatever. Like, yeah. like we made orange shirts for a video because it's like all orange stuff yeah. and like they're unwearable. Like I have <laughs> box, <laughs> so just hundreds of orange shirts at my parents' house. And they're still there. And someone's like, "Oh yeah, you should print stuff on them and sell them." No one's like, like, "I would never wearing. impose that on someone else. <laughs> <laughs> like endorse them wearing this color because it looks yeah, terrible. Terrible on everyone. Yeah, unless you're hunting. So downside." True, true. So what else uh, do pe should people know about you that they might not normally know? And can we have like uh, something to like kind of cue us out? Let's cue us out, fellas. Yeah. There's no one, by the way, there's like, I don't know where it's coming from, but right. I know that they're listening. Someone in this And room. they can play some instruments and stuff. Yeah. What's a cue? How do we cue out? How do we cue out? I don't know what that means. I, don't, I just made it up. Oh. Um, I guess just to like kind of, <laughs> as we're winding this down, like, is there like wi winding down music? Yeah. Oh, come on, guys, that sounds like the Muppets are coming out. <laughs> I had Dunkin' Donuts egg whites uh, wraps for breakfast this morning. That's all I've had to eat today. And I've been sweating profusely all day. <laughs> and just like burping and just like, <laughs> sorry. So. This is turning into a really weird <laughs> therapy session. It's really personal. <laughs> it's like... Cool. Well, well, yeah, that's what's well, going on with Diamond. Well, where can people find you? You, you said it's uh, your Twitter handle and all that good stuff. Can you... Uh... Mm -hmm. DMND Youth. Okay. Um, I think that's Facebook that's and everything. Twitter. Yeah. yeah. Diamond Youth. Okay. If you search Diamond Youth, you'll find us. Yeah. And an Australian cover band. But we're not that. They're better. We're a cover like, band of who? I, dude, they cover like Oasis and stuff. It's they have a couple covers. That's a weak name for a cover band name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's pretty lame. They could come up with something else, right? Yeah, well, they're done with. What's the opposite of Oasis? <laughs> desert. Yeah, desert. That is not us. <laughs> right, it's not us, yeah. Cool, guys. Well, good luck. Well, thank, thank you. you. Thank good, you for having good us. Good luck with your next meal. <laughs> Comes up very soon. <laughs>